Is it are the Packers another example this week of just how up and down this league is? Because I mean, I know Ollie Hunter in absentia today, but was talking last night about you know the run defense being as bad as he is, and then Rogers who. That passing game in the first half, admittedly off the back of a, a, a good Patriots defensive performance, which has not been something we've seen a huge amount of in the last two years. But then in the second half, he just looked vintage, Rogers. He looked, mm-hmm. like I thought he was unreal. There were four or five, four or five throws in the second half that were just like absolute. You know, I mean, the, the ball to Dubs for the for the touchdown that wasn't was an absolutely sensational pass, but. I mean, just the just the flick of the wrist to you know the ball down the right sideline early in the third quarter to Lazard was a great pass, um, you know, and he came up massive in those big moments. But the first half he was so out of sync. I mean, uh, and absolutely kudos to the. I thought the Patriots defense were excellent. Um, I'm not so sold on Jack Jones at the microphone afterwards, sort of saying that it was embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, mate, stay in your lane. Um, but uh, overall, it, it's so interesting watching the Packers because you just like. It, it feels like Aaron feels like it, it, it's not reminiscent of 2018, but in a way it is in terms of that sort of slightly hero ball kind of style of play that he, he undertook in the last 18 months of the Mike McCarthy era in terms of just trying to put everything on his shoulders. The run game is so good. The offensive line is so excellent that you just think, you know, I would, you know, it must be hard for Matt Lafleur when you've got a wet, when you've got the talent of Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. But when you've got such a such a powerful running game, such a strong running game with those two with those two guys in the backfield, you just think actually there are times when you just lean on that run game with Jones and Dylan, um, and it is going to take time for the for the Watsons and the uh, and the Dobbses and and those guys to get back. And Robert Tonyan coming back from the injury, Sammy Watkins obviously uh, you know out uh, and uh, I think on IR, but. Um, but, you know, when he comes back, it, it, it is taking time. And they clearly do miss Devontae Adams. Understandably, why wouldn't you miss the, the best receiver in the NFL? But you just I just don't know really what to expect with the Patriots, in ter- with the Packers, in terms of, you know, they could end up winning it all. Or you could think, you know, they might. I mean, I think they'll make the playoffs, obviously. But it's just got to start clicking. And I suspect it will. Um, but the NFC feels like it's so weak they could end up in the Super Bowl. It, it really started to, I thought, in that second half, as we mentioned last night. I mean, we talked about rushing and, and the Green Bay run defence did have problems and, and got gashed a number of times by both Damian Harris and Ramondre Stevenson. And that's considering that we knew that with uh, Bailey Zapp or Zappy or however you pronounce the surname, um, under centre, we knew they were going to have to lean heavily on that run game and yet they still weren't able to stop it. They got what's, uh, they went at just over five yards a carry, but then Green Bay themselves, 199 yards off 35 carries, Jones and Dylan splitting the workload pretty evenly between them as well. And then you look at the the receivers, Lazard, six catches, Romeo Dubs, five catches off, off both off eight targets, you know, combining for Dobbs, uh, much shorter yardage because his big play was, uh, as you say, chalked off, but Lazard had a big day, which is what they've been desperate for. And then, I, I the player who really keeps standing out to me, and this is, comes back to what we um, we talked about him last week, but also I had a conversation with Zadaria Smith in the Vikings locker room last night when we were talking about that Vikings defensive line and the fact that they let a talent like that go and seeing Rashan Gary really take it to a whole new level this year. You know, forced the fumble, which saw Hoyer go out of the game in the first half, which is an obvious and clear impact. But beyond that, I just felt like on every passing down, two sacks, two tackle uh, tackle for loss, two quarterback hits. And it just felt like he was... It didn't matter who they lined up along against him, whether they put a chip block in, whether they like tried to run some kind of double team. He just was powering through, guys. I, I Like... I know this is the guy you and Matt both talked about coming out of Michigan, but I think I'm really seeing it this season. Yeah. Uh, the Packers run defense as well, I think is, you, you touched on it there. I think that's such a, um, it's such an interesting thing because obviously they lost Adrian Amos who steps up into the box and is, a, you know, is good against the run. But it, before they lost Amos, they were struggling. I know that Ramondre Stevenson and, and Damian Harris are really good players. That, that, that's a really good tandem there. But given that they drafted a defensive tackle in Devonta Wyatt, they drafted a third down linebacker in Key Walker, they're really struggling against the run. I don't really know why. It feels like they're doubling up a lot on Kenny Clark and and uh, interior defensive linemen and Devondre Campbell are, are not winning their one-on-one battles. That's got to get fixed really quickly coming to London because you've got, you know, Saquon Barkley coming off a, another massive performance. Um, and he's been sensational this season. And, you, you know, you don't want to let Saquon Barkley loose on, on that defense because... You know they'll run all over you, and that that's got to be a concern for for Joe Barry and for for the Packers brass. 
A little bit of praise on the other side, though, for the, the Patriots O-line, which had so many question marks in the season. As you say, the run defense, not good. But, you know, Cole Strange had a couple of plays on Kenny Clark where he opened up those run lanes where you're like, oh, maybe he was worth spending a bizarre first round pick on. I'm not quite sure I'm there yet, but he just had a couple of plays where he really flashed, um, showed really good strength, really good footwork. And, and so there is there is reason to praise on on the other side of the ball. I thought the left hand line much better than the right hand side of their line, Isaiah. Yeah. Wynn, They've got good players. Yeah, well, I don't think Wynn played very well. David Andrews obviously a really good centre. Michael and Wynn is a good player. Um, I thought Strange played well. I just you just feel like with the Giants coming in and their ability to run the ball, it could be a long night for the Green Bay run defence if they, they can't get off the field. <laughs> 